Breaking overnight with some reports that Hamas terrorists fired rockets on a pier off the coast of Gaza under construction by U.S. forces in that region. No reports of casualties so far, but we are watching for any new developments this morning. Now, we also have some breaking video. You can see it right back here. Now, these are protesters who are basically demanding the release of hostages held by Hamas. You can see them here clashing with police right now. Leaders are in Cairo for those negotiations. And now to a live look over the White House this morning. On Wednesday, the president vowed to stop sending, you know, offensive weapons, in some cases bombs, to Israel. If Israel launched an attack on Rafah, the final major Hamas stronghold in Gaza, the concern, the well-being of more than one million civilians sheltering in that region. Now, during an exclusive interview with CNN's Aaron Burnett on Wednesday, President Joe Biden said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been given an ultimatum. I made it clear that if they go into Rafah, they haven't gone into Rafah yet. If they go into Rafah, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah, to deal with the cities, to deal with that problem. We're going to continue to make sure Israel is secure in terms of Iron Dome and their ability to respond to attacks like came out of the, uh, in, uh, the Middle East recently. But it's, uh, it's, it's just wrong. We're not going to we're not going to supply the weapons and the artillery shells used that have been used. Artillery in shells as well. Yeah, artillery shells. Last week, the United States withheld 3,500 bombs from Israel. Now some lawmakers in Washington, D.C. are pushing back, asking for details on the decision to withhold that military aid by Friday. We're on top of this, both in D.C. and in the Middle East. We'll bring you any new details on air online, thenationaldesk.com.